What is up guys, it is Zach Cloche, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up custom manage.py commands in a Django project. So let's jump into it. I'm going to create my folder. So custom Django commands, so that's gonna be our project name. We're going to create our virtual environment. We're going to pip install Django. And now we're going to run two commands. So first we're gonna say Django admin start project config. And then we're going to create an app. So we're gonna say pi manage.py start app and it can be any app blog. So you, you will need an app in order to do this because it needs to be created inside of here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder and call this, um, we're gonna say management and inside of that, another folder called commands. And inside of that, we're going to have an init.py file. And also inside of the management folder, we're going to have an init.py here as well. Oh, wrong button. Excuse me, not that. Init.py. There we go. Okay, yeah, so this is the folder structure, so man management, and then have an init inside of here, and then commands, and then have an init inside of here as well. Now, uh, with this, inside of this commands folder for our blog, we're going to write a file that's going to be the name of our command. So, for example, if you want to create a command called start app, like this, um, essentially, the .py file you're going to create is going to be the name of the command. So let's say I'm going to make a, a command called create blog posts. So now what we need to do, um, so this will be the command that we would run down here. So eventually we'll get to where it says create blog post, just like this. Uh, so after that simple man, this management structure, we're going to say from django.core.management import base command like so. And for this to work, you're going to need to make a class called command with base command on the inside of here. And um, inside of here, there are going to be two separate um, arguments or two separate um, methods to this command class that you're going to want to have. So the first one, so the first one is going to be add arguments. with the self dot or self in parser as the uh, parameters. We're just gonna put three dots right here or put in ellipses just to, that that will basically act as pass for now. And then we're going to create one called handle that's gonna take in star args and options. So double star options. Um, and now with these, we're able to properly build our command. So. Um, technically, we don't need to have add arguments, and I can show you just how to run this in general. Oh, also, one thing that we can actually add to the top is going to be help text. So this is going to be help for this command. So we're going to say create a certain number of blog posts like this. So um, we created our... Um, we created our command create blog posts, and um, all we're going to do right now is make uh, we're just going to make it say that some blog posts were created. So um, handle is actually where the logic that you want to add is going to be ran. So this is uh, essentially like this is like the action of the command. So we're going to say for now, just print um, blog posts were created like so. And with this setup, let's go into our settings and just add, add our blog um, add our blog app here. So we're just going to add blog. And if this worked correctly, we should be able to say pi manage.py and see the command that we created. So we see the different sections in the different apps here. So for static files, there's these. For sessions, there's this one. For Django, generally, there's that one. For content types, there's this. And uh, for our blog, we have create blog posts. Now notice that nothing inside of our create blog posts file says create blog posts. That's purely on this, that's purely our file name here. And uh, it shows up under this blog section inside of here. So if we run this, if I say pi manage.py 
create blog posts. It says blog posts were created. If I say pi manage.py create blog posts and dash h, which stands for help. Yeah, it shows our help command or it shows our help uh, text here, create a certain number of blog posts. And um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all that does. And plus some other stuff that you can write with it. Um, so that's cool. But now what happens if we want to actually, um, Let's say that we want to be able to add a certain number of blog posts once uh, we call our function. So say we want to say something like pi manage.py, create blog posts, and then we want to add a number like 5 or 3 or 12. Uh, so how would we add that? <clears throat> so to add this, we're going to uncomment out this add arguments function with or method with, again, self and parser. Um, we're going to replace our ellipses and we're going to say parser dot add argument and whatever the variable name that we want are, um, are uh, yeah, whatever we want the variable or the, are, the um, what, whatever we want to pass in to be. So this is going to be in our case, um, we're just going to say um, number, or number of posts, you can call it whatever, like that's just what I'm writing for this. And we can also add a type argument to make sure that we're passing in the right type into our um, into our command here. Uh, so now we have number of posts inside of this um, uh, as an argument for our handler. Uh, so to access this, this will show up inside of options, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we can try, let's say, um, what is it? Number equals mm, options dot get number of posts like that. And um, we're going to say, we're just going to add it to the beginning here. So we're going to say number and then make this an F string. And now it should say a specific number of um, posts that we create. So if we say pi manage dot pi, uh, create blog posts, 12. Yeah, now it says 12 blog posts were created. So we do have this number and um, yeah, that should work pretty much well. And uh, just to show you what else this, this can do, you can also add models here. So if we actually create a blog post, let's say class blog post um, models dot model. And um, we're just gonna leave it empty. So it should just, um, yeah, well, we'll just leave it empty and it should just create a blog post with an ID. Um, so that's all that should be there. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. We're going to say down here. So for this number, we're going to say, um, now we're going to make it to where this actually creates blog posts. And um, oh, of course, also after we make our uh, blog post model, we're gonna make migrations and we're going to migrate. And if you want to do it all in one command, you can write it like I just did here. So with the double underscore, if you're on Mac, of course, you're going to write Python or Linux. I assume it's also Python. And uh, manage dot or uh, yeah, pi manage dot pi make migrations and pi manage dot pi migrate. All right. So now that that's created, um, we can go ahead and say from dot or actually we're going to say from blog dot models import blog posts like so and um, now we can say for range or for i in range um, whoops let's see for i in range number and actually we're going to say one um actually you know what we actually don't need that uh so like this we're going to say um, blog post.objects.create and then once that is done we're going to say print created number blog posts and uh, we'll also at the end of this print um, blog post.objects.all so we're going to see all of the blog posts that we created um, so that should be good. 
And then we're also going to add this the argument uh, sep and set that to a new line just so these are on different lines. Um, all right, yeah, so that should be pretty much everything. So, and actually we're not using I, so let's make that, oops, let's make that an underscore because that's what you're supposed to use whenever you don't actually use I here. Um, so, cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I think that's everything. So let's go ahead and try this. We're gonna say pi, manage.py, create blog posts, and then we're going to say 12, or um, let's say three. All right, so created three blog posts. And as you can see uh, in this query set that I just did, it says, um, yeah, blog post object one, two, and three. If I add, if I wanna run this again, pi manage.py create blog posts and say, I don't know, nine. So now there should be 12 items in total. So let's see, boom, yep, awesome. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything I'm going to cover in this video. So thank you for watching. I hope that was useful. If you liked the video, subscribe. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions on creating custom commands. I would love to answer them and help you out. Uh, so yep, super short video. Um, thanks for watching. Bye for now.